Yep, welcome back. Uh, welcome back to another episode of Sean Has the Worst Luck in the Entire World. Check this out. Damn. Yeah, you're seeing that. You're seeing that correctly. So, yeah. I, I'll explain a little more here in a second. So, yeah. Um, on the unfortunate side of things, my car got backed into. Um, here's the video of the car getting backed into. Some some kind of uh, department or something else. Uh, they have their own company or something else. Like Back it up with a mountain that comes this way. That's a top. That looks like an older Tahoe. Tahoe, yeah. Man, people suck. You zoom it. He stopped because he's seen it, and then mm -hmm. decided he wanted to be a piece of shit. Back it up a little. Or let it go forward and stop it when it comes right there in the drive. It's so big. Alright, so what happened was that we went and ate at a restaurant and I parked my car and I just parked, you know, behind uh, my sister because we all went and ate, like, you know, as a family. And while we were eating, um, I guess while we were waiting on our food, because it happened around 7.02. It happened at 7.02, actually. Not around it. While we were sitting there waiting on our food, um, I guess somebody backed up and hit my car. I didn't notice it uh, because we were inside or whatever. So, I le we left and we went to Nick's house. While we were at Nick's house, um, Nick come outside and seen my car and he was like, bro, what happened to your car? And I turned around and looked and I was like, you got to me. And I, w I, w I would not be as mad if it happened to my fender, like the front fender, because that's so easily replaceable. I wouldn't be so mad about it. But it happened to my quarter panel, as you can see. So I went straight back to the restaurant and asked if I had any cameras. And of course, they didn't have any cameras. So that's just my luck. Uh, so I didn't know what to do. So I went across the street to the liquor store and I started talking to them about it and they got cameras. They just don't have cameras that's close enough to see like the tag number or anything like that. It was definitely a group of teenagers that had to have been that went to the school because they're having prom night or something like that. And there's just waves of teenagers coming in there from prom. We were also supposed to go to the VFA event at the Abandoned Six Flags Resort in Louisiana. Nick couldn't go, so you know, me and Cody decided that we were just gonna go together. So we packed up all of our stuff and we took off and we had some we had a bit of car trouble. Not out of my car. I didn't want to take this car because it's got bald it doesn't have bald tires in the back, but I will need tires soon. I didn't want to risk risk taking this car, blowing a tire or something along that lines and then not being able to get home especially being six hours away cody's truck his oil temp temperature temperature oil temp sensor has went out he was also over on his over over on his oil change so he was he was scared to like take it out and, and go so we decided to take another car a borrowed car so we took, jumped in the borrowed car, took off, and we started having car trouble. I didn't want to risk having to pay for a car, so we brought it back and we took it to the shop to see if we could get the minor situation fixed. So instead of paying a massive amount of money because we broke a car because we chanced that, we come home 
and that didn't have us the end of that. So we did miss out on the VFA events, which sucks. We did get a refund for our hotel, which is really good because we did pay a lot of money for a hotel room. However, we didn't get a chance to sell our tickets to somebody else to where they could go because VFA made it super hard uh, to do something like, like to do that, to sell your ticket to somebody so they could go to that event and we would gain our money back. We also couldn't get a refunds because they don't allow refunds unless you're like, unless it's like a, I think you gotta be like a military or something like that to get refunds for that, if I'm not mistaken. I feel, I feel like there were too many red flags of these events that were happening and maybe we shouldn't have went. I also heard like it was a, I, I heard it was, I heard it was really good. But I also heard there was like some horror stories that come out of there like injuries, heat casualties. You had to wait in line for, you know, four hours for chrono and, and stuff like that. So I heard a lot of mixed, mixed, you know, reviews, I guess you would say. Does it suck to not been able to go? Absolutely, 100%. This is a one in a lifetime chance opportunity to go to something like that. Um, because they're, they're gonna tear that place down next week. So unless Six Flags Over Georgia becomes abandoned, we'll never get that opportunity again to do that. They were also giving away a ton of um, giveaways, like raffles and stuff like that. I just noticed my front screen is going out on my GoPro, which is pretty wild. I've had this GoPro for many, many years, many years. But yeah, it looks like the uh, GoPro is going out. But yeah, we did, we did absolutely miss out on a banger giveaway every everybody was giving away stuff there you know it was a massive event so of course there's going to be vendors giving away stuff mass you know because that's a that is a huge opportunity to advertise for their companies so yeah they're going to do that stuff so yeah a couple of our friends our teammates and stuff like that you know they walked away with some good deals some good raffles but regardless of the fact, I'm back to uploading videos. So I just wanted to show you guys what has happened because I did upload a short of the car getting hit and I didn't want to leave you guys hanging and then I also haven't uploaded anything from VFA and that is the reason it's because we didn't go. I've got a bunch of stuff I'm gonna be uploading here randomly this month. So I hope you guys enjoy that. But until next time, I will see you guys later.